Hey internet, Eric here. Uh, it's day six of Shocktober. Uh, if you've been following along with me, uh, 13 episodes or 13 videos, I guess you would say, in 13 days, 13 different horror movies that I've never seen, from the 19th all the way up until Halloween. Um, if you've been watching me, God bless you. You know I tapped out after Halloween 4. I've had to rearrange uh, what I was going to discuss initially. Um, so far, I'm still getting the movies where I, that I was initially going to watch out of the way. So I have also discussed Terrifier 3, um, The Bloody Man. And now I'm going to discuss something that if it wasn't for Shocktober, it was, it'd be something for my Is It Worth the Hype videos. Something that a, uh, either the critics say they love it, the fans say they love it, the audience, or whomever. And um, as a horror fan, as part of the horror community, everyone's saying, Eric, you got to see this, you got to see this, it's the classic, blah, blah, blah. So today, I figured I'll just do it for Shocktober. I'm going to discuss 1979's Zombie. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I discuss plot spoilers at specific scenes, 1979 or 1980. I know there's multiple dates. I'm going with 79 because that's what IMDb says, um, and that's when it came out in Italy. Uh, and I know there's 200 fucking titles of this movie. We're going with Zombie, directed by Lucio Fulci. Basic plot is... The movie starts, and we have a zombie attack on a boat. The zombie takes out one of the cops, um, and then it is shot and put o pushed overboard. Um, and then the boat it goes into New York Harbor unattended. We find out that the boat is owned by a person. That person's daughter is looking, has been looking for her father, hires somebody to take her from here to there. They hire a couple on a boat to take them from there to this island to find dad. Zombies are there. Okay, like I said, everyone's saying, Eric, you got to see this, you got to see this. Lucio Fulci is great. I was pretty hyped. Um, I've seen the poster everywhere. I've seen the t-shirts everywhere. Madman Pano even has one. He really enjoys it. Uh, and uh, my history with Fulci, he's got a huge following. I've only seen The Beyond, and that was like 20 years ago. So I popped this in ready, and I was pretty fucking bored. Uh, let's get the... Get the characters out of the way. Don't give a shit about any of them. They're not bad, but I think it also hurts that I watched this on Tubi. Or on Tubi, the only version was dubbed, uh, or a mixture of dubbed and not with the ADR. Kind of like if you watched uh, the American version of Ready, uh, Rumble in the Bronx, you get have that little bit there. Sometimes they're speaking English, but it's dubbed and it looks bad. And the other times you can tell that they're not speaking English, but it's dubbed and it looks bad. I don't give a shit about any of these characters. Um, they're just not interesting to me. They're just there to just walk around, look for dad, you know, the girl's dad. Um, and that's it. Um, and they meet zombies on their way. Uh, this movie is known for its gore. The gore is pretty good. I'll say that. there. You know, we have a lot of vicious neck bites. Uh, neck bites with skin getting ripped off and blood shooting out. We have uh, an ankle being cracked. We have that famous scene you've seen where uh, a zombie punches through the door. And a gr as the girl is trying to, she's pushing like a dresser against the uh, the door to keep the door closed. And the zombie grabs her by the hair and pulls her. And her, her face gets slowly closer and closer to this piece of wood that's like a splinter. You know what I mean? And then suddenly it pierces her eye and gets her. She falls down dead. That's pretty fucking gross. Um, uh, lots of bullet holes and, and, and so many gory things that happen. So the gore is good. But in my opinion, that doesn't necessarily make a, an entertaining movie. Um, because a lot of this film is literally just talking, looking for stuff. Hardly any zombies until that final act. And I honestly... There were times when I was reaching for my phone because I just didn't care. I wasn't invested. I was bored. We had the beginning scene with the zombie attack, which was cool. Then we cut to a scene where one, uh, the female of the couple that's that's taking, uh, who are the like the, the, the owners of the boat that are helping uh, the, the trip go to the island. She gets naked. It's, it's Italy. It's nice. She goes scuba diving. Uh, she's attacked by a zombie underwater. It's a really neat scene. Um, she gets away because there are sharks. <laughs> there are sharks coming. I also knew this is the movie because everyone's saying, "Hey, a zombie fights a shark." 
zombie fights a shark in this one. Um, a lot of it, I'm sure it's just a professional person who knows how to handle sharks. He's basically holding the fins as it's swimming along, bites it on occasion, some blood comes out. There is a cool scene where he puts his, he gets his hand in the shark's mouth, the shark bites it, rips it off, you hear this nice crunching sound, blood is everywhere. But the scene is very, very short in my opinion, and again, this hype, I expected a lot more. Um... The final scene, the final, I guess you would say, finale, I guess you'd say the finale of this, uh, is pretty crazy, okay? You have zombies coming up out of the ground left and right. I will say I liked how Fulci had like a, a zombie POV cam of just the camera coming out of the dirt, the dirt falling down, but after the third time, it kind of loses its mystique. Um, great makeup. You saw the poster. We've seen this one, um, but as you get close up to it, it looks not so great, I guess you would say. Some of the zombies kind of reminded me of the makeup effects in Dawn of the Dead, which weren't that great. Um, but the finale, uh, zombies getting shot, set on fire, great fire effect. Um, but again, there's the, I don't know what it is with Fulci. Everyone says he's such a great director. Well, why is it then when one of the when, when one of the uh, characters has his leg bitten and snapped, you hear his ankle snap. And then the next scene, he's <sighs> running through the fucking woods. And then a couple minutes later, he's hobbling. Oops. We remember that he's injured. Um, and then they get to the end. They're going back home to New York because dad's dead. Um, <laughs> he was killed. Um, because there's also a scientist doing experimentations. I don't care. That stuff was boring too. It's just him uh, doing experimentations, trying to raise the dead. Because there's also voodoo involved. He's shooting all the infected. I don't care. Because like I said, this movie's so fucking boring. Um, the ending, they get to New York. One of the persons is infected because the woman, she had her th throat uh, bitten out. The other guy is infected. They lock him up. Then they go to New York Harbor and the zombies have infected the world. They're all walking down the bridge. Um... This isn't going to be a very long video because to me there wasn't much to this movie other than some other than this one zombie here I didn't really give a shit about anything you know the the, the look the one zombie that I showed you on the poster um I liked the innovation of it fighting a shark but I the hype I I wanted more you know what I mean uh the gore was great but that doesn't help if the movie is freaking boring and that's the main problem I had with zombie. I don't know if it's to do with the way Italian film is, especially in that era. I remember watching um, uh, Phenomena, you know, my first Argento movie. I thought that movie was boring as shit too. Hated it. Like, hated that movie. I don't hate this one, but I'll never return to it because it's just not entertaining enough. So, if this was an is it, is it worth the hype video, I would say absolutely not. I didn't like this movie. I'll never watch it again. I don't get it. Don't get it. But hey, that's just me. That's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Click the bell. Do you like this movie? Tell me how wrong I am in the comments. Are you one who actually agrees with me? Tell me why. Um, go check out the playlist of the other uh, movies I've discussed for Shocktober. <sighs> Those Halloween films are fucking ridiculous. Um, and then there is and there's The Bloody Man, which is a wildlife film. You get what you pay for with that one. I watched it on Tubi and felt ripped off. Anyways, got some other things planned uh, for October. <sighs> Godspeed for me. Cheers.